All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to another iteration of Frostpunk. Uh, I'm going to basically play through all of the scenarios here. And so far, we have already played through... Uh, if I go start the scenario, we played through a, a new home. The Arcs, the Fall of Winter home, and On the Edge. And so, you know what? I'm going to play through the Refugees and then Last Autumn. Uh, because I feel like Last Autumn is so drastically different. But I'm going to try and just complete... All of the main story arcs first, and then we'll, we'll talk about last item. So, let's go to the refugees here. The safety of the generator was reserved for the wealthy. We seize this, we can build a city where people are equal. But can we accept everyone who comes to seek shelter? Let's go. So I've heard refugees is kind of just like a new home, but like a little more... I don't know. Like a little bit more panicky? I don't know. I've actually never played this scenario before, so I'm going into it blind. Uh, like all the scenarios, but this time I, I have so much more Frostbuck experience under my belt now that I should be able to nail this one on the head uh, quite nicely. Uh, and here we go. By the way, guys, if you guys are new here to my channel and you guys enjoy Frostbuck content, well, I have played through, well, as you can see, all four of those series already. So be sure to check out my channel for uh, the entire playlist of all of those. I have them all there. So let's go. you can binge watch them. And if you guys want to keep up with this series, drop a sub. All right, we are condemned to die with the rest of the common folk when London was destroyed, but we rose up. We commandeered the ships that were meant to carry the wealthy to safety and sailed north. Ooh, sounds like a revolution. Here we found a generator and claimed it for ourselves. Now we must gather all our people to this new city before the lords arrive to rob us of our freedom again. Oh. So these are poor people who came here to try and, like, stay alive here. Interesting. We got a nice looking generator here. Save our people. After the ships we sold from Lords got stuck in the frozen ocean, we head out in small groups where to generate. Most of our people are still on the trail. They have less than two weeks of supplies and the weather's getting worse every day. We must everything we must do everything to make sure they can get they can all get here safely. At least two hundred and fifty people must survive. Await the incoming refugee groups. Okay. So I'm gonna drop a pause here. I have forty three people. And I have a destroyed steam core transport. There's two steam cores here, coal piles over here, a bunch of wood crates, stockpiles, okay, okay. A bunch of broken stuff here. There's a broken steel wreckage here. It looks like there's a wall drill spot over here. And looks like there's a bunch of spots for other things too. Okay, so one of the first things I'm gonna try and build, oh, I can't build anything yet. Ah, okay, well, I don't, I don't need coal right now. I'm gonna need to make sure people get onto the steel wreckage here. And I'm gonna to want to make sure people get onto the wood crates here as well. And well, one of the first laws I'm gonna sign in here is actually probably going to be child labor. I'm gonna get some safe jobs here. All right, kids, you're gonna to have to help me out here on this one. Well, let's get to it, boys. Uh, the kids should be learning, not working. Well, unfortunately, we are gonna need them to be working here. Let's see, I'm not, I'm not gonna burn any coal yet because as you can see here, it's only chilly and these people here are livable. I guess they're warm, so I guess it's livable, you know? Uh, and the generator shut down. I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna turn it on when it's uh, later at night here. And then let's have a resources. We can even get a gathering post up here. Hopefully this will start trickling in once I get some more wood. And there it is. Let's slap down a gathering post right here. Boom, we're out of wood, boys. Make sure no one's working on this. Maybe we can get them to work on the gathering post here. There we go. We can see our dutiful citizens coming over here, working on a little gathering post. Gather all this stuff here. Got a little passageway here, actually. Maybe this leads us into Frostlands. Oh, man. I like this. I might just play like an endless mode, or maybe once I'm done Frostpunk, I'll just move on to a different game. I'm actually not too sure. Um, cause I think Frostpunk has just been something that I've just always been doing on my channel. Um, let's see, we've got a steel wreckage here. There's a coal pile here, there's a coal pile here. Steel wreckage, steel wreckage, okay. I think there was also something else I could have built here. And I can also get some, uh, I can also get a workshop up and running once I have enough wood. That'll be useful. I'm gonna try and keep the workshop probably not in the inner ring. Maybe a bit, uh, further out. Uh, just because the workshop is uh, heated, and I do want to have my homes. Okay, so let's see. We have we have coal here, iron here, wood uh, outpost outpost here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to use wood on that way. Okay, so 
if anything, I think the inner ring could just be like this section here. Um, I feel like I could totally, oh man, that's actually a bad placement here, but also like, hmm. I could, because I want to build houses here, so I can probably put, I can probably put a workshop over here. That seems like a good idea. Workshop over here. I'm going to try and have houses in the inner ring. Maybe like houses all over here. I don't know, because I just want to make sure that like we have a residential district that I can just concentrate all of my heating on. There we go. I'm going to put all my people onto here. Um, so we should be getting steel, coal, bits of everything. Uh, I'm going to take some of the kids off of this pile here. This wood pile here. Put some more kids on here. There we go. And then hopefully I'm, I can get another gathering post to be put up. So this one has destroyed steam core and steel wreckage and another steel wreckage. I should probably put another one over here because I will want those resources. And I will also should probably start researching like other resources. Uh, uh, yeah, I have no way to get other resources. So I should probably search those things. And then when nighttime rolls around, uh, which it will come around soon enough. Uh-huh, eight engineers here. So we can get a resource depot, gathering depot. There we go, we're out of wood. We're gonna need some of that wood quickly. There we go, I have some engineers here. We're gonna do some new research here, steam hub. Get a beacon, probably can get a beacon. I think I'm gonna start researching uh, faster gathering actually, so that'll help out a bit. We got some coal coming in. Uh huh. Waiting for workers here. Uh oh, we're not gonna have enough wood for the night. That's not good. I don't have enough wood for housing. Uh. All right, engineers, get on that wood. I'm gonna need you for that one. I'll just have to turn on the generator, I guess. There we go. We have generator for about four days here. There we go. Generator should start providing a heat zone here as it's heating up. Uh huh. No roof over our heads. I'll provide some shelter. That should be very easy to be done. There we go. And then now we got this little place here. Let's see. I have some people gathering steel just out in the open, right? Yeah. I'm going to put these people in here. And then I'll put whoever's left in here. Or actually. No, no. That should be fine. There we go, because I want to gather wood, wood, destroyed steam core, and all that stuff. Okay. Uh huh. Got some more research going here, maybe. Pulls it this time of the day. I'm just going to power through the night here. Everyone's just sort of huddled around the generator. I would be too, you know, especially if there's no roof over our heads. Generator keeps us warm, so at least exposure's not too bad. And yeah, everyone's like just heating up their hands here, warming themselves. Most of us are homeless here. Illness and healthcare. And people are just sort of sleeping out at night, and we got purpose. Oh, we can. Where do, we can already use purpose. Uh, uh, I can sign this. I can sign an emergency ship. People probably won't like that, but uh, I'm just gonna sign that in right now. Uh huh. I'm just gonna actually. Oh, but if I use an emergency ship, I think someone's gonna die immediately right off the bat. Um, which will suck because I don't want that yet. Uh, I just want to be able to have extended shifts. So signing in emergency shifts will allow us to have extended shifts. There we go. People are going to wake up now. I realize I only have 50 food as well. Uh, one of us are sick. Should probably create a cookhouse. Um, and I'm going to try and put that kind of close by to the inner ring as well. Uh, and it's going to get cold soon as well. So hopefully I can gather enough enough resources here is uh i think people can i can they can probably be they can probably afford to eat uh a little bit later let's see i'm gonna get a cookhouse okay maybe i can put it right here because so i do want i do want the cookhouse in the inner ring maybe this entire area over here can be my housing district i don't know what's gonna happen so maybe i can put my cookhouse over here there we go get a cookhouse built um, let's see, so what's my steel economy looking like here? Let's see. Um, I'm really getting 72 coal, but I'm uh, devouring it. 80 wood, 43 steel, 
Okay, this research is coming along just fine. I'll probably just turn this off, actually. Uh, like, just, I'm just gonna turn down my, sh turn down the generator here. Because I don't really need it on right now. Um, it's just sort of chilly. It's just sort of chilly. Um, I should probably also get a medical tent. And uh, getting some raw food up and running. That would be, that would be nice. I also got some sawmills, just early game, to sawmill this stuff, or maybe, because I need to have a lot of people working on the wall drill. Um, Alright, let's go. There we go, I'm gonna put down some shelter here. Uh-oh! There's more refugees, well look who's here. I'll be damned. Oh man, some people arrived. Nice! We have a small group of people coming in. The first refugees. Hope rises. Yes! Come and join us! Welcome! Welcome! I'm gonna put down some workers over here. I am in desperate need of workers. Uh, there's a coal pile over here. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I guess I can put down some workers over here as well. But I'm also in desperate need of food. As well, I'm gonna need a hunter's hut, which I could probably put down like somewhere far out, just like maybe like right next to this place. Uh, but let's see here. Child injured at work. Uh, hope will rise slightly. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I need to provide shelter for at least half of my citizens here. Uh, hold on. I need to make sure that we're getting more wood here. All right, come on, boys. Let's get that. Let's get this wood. Uh -huh. We're harvesting wood, coal. There we go. Faster gathering. Okay. Food and health. Hunter's gear. We'll return with more raw food from each hunt, up to twenty. I think I need more raw food income first, so I'm gonna get that hunter's gear up and running. Uh huh. And then I can probably get a medical facility up and running a little later today. Uh, but right now, it's gonna have to be food here for me. Uh-huh. I just realized that this is an inefficient placement. Might have to demolish this later. Uh, one, two, three. Although this entire area being a housing district doesn't seem too bad. Uh, and I can have my research district over here. I don't know. I just don't like the fact that there's inefficient usage of road space here. Uh, but let's start off. Let's start off decently still here. The heating is off. Uh, there we go. Oh, I don't have any workers here. One, two, three. Boom. Get some people to cook. Uh, anyway, I set my engineers here. There we go. The heating is off. We're waiting for some workers. Uh oh. We're not gonna have food like two days in a row. Um. That'll be kind of bad. But this should be enough housing. There we go. Uh-oh. We need a beacon. Okay, we need to build a beacon. But we need to get some research done for that. Uh-huh. I don't have any food coming in because of uh, this stuff here. Uh-oh. What's happening? The heating is off. Generator is off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. Yes, I will. I will turn it on for the night. I will turn it on for the night. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. Don't panic. Have it on for nighttime. Okay, we got some inhabitants here. Uh, we need. We're gonna have 250 people here. So we're gonna need lots and lots of resources here. Uh, and I feel like maybe a gathering hut here might not be good. I don't actually know. We can introduce a new law here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assign an extended shift here. And uh, I'm gonna put in extended shift here, extended shift here, and extended shift here. People are gonna be a little mad about, about that. There we go. Promise is fulfilled. Hope rises. There we go. Uh, I don't, probably don't need extended shift here. But yeah, we have 10 people that are hungry. Um, 
but that should not be too bad. It'll, they'll be hungry for like two days, and then it'll get cold tomorrow. There'll be food. They'll be able to go and eat. It'll be fine. I just have to make sure that we have hunters uh, for tomorrow. And there we go. Morning time is here. There we go. A protective mother. Uh, hope will rise. I'll let her have her day off. Hope will rise slightly here. There we go. Uh oh. It's getting colder. So those those depots out there are kind of chilly here. I should probably take these workers off of this place. Just because I don't want them to get sick. I can't afford people to get sick right now as it stands. Um, okay, so if it's getting colder like this, that's going to be kind of bad. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need resources for wood. I should probably build another gathering post here. Uh, although we're getting some food income. Uh, our wood income is not looking great though. I might need to build a sawmill here. Because I just don't want my I just don't want my people to freeze because I don't have enough people. I don't have the resources to treat the sick yet. I don't think. And I definitely do not have. Hmm. I think I might just have to sacrifice my workers here. It's gonna be cold, they might they're gonna get sick. Um. Mm. Boom. All right, let's go for that. Hunter's gear has been researched. Okay. What's my what's my next level? Okay, it's just 50. Probably do want a sawmill though. Because uh, I feel like a sawmill would help us fast track significantly here, so let's get that going. Uh huh. There we go. Stick my workers in there. Give me some wood. Give me some coal. Okay. Uh. Okay. Now we can start considering building a hunter's hut. Mm, so this is going to be my housing district. I can probably put down Hunter's Hut like over here, maybe. Uh, let's see, because I don't... Uh, hmm. hmm. Like, this area is probably the best place to put one down. Because I just feel like I'm going to be out of space. Uh, let's see. Can't build it there. I can build it here. Why can't I do that? Why can't I do that? Is it because there's things in the way? Huh, that might be why. There we go. I'll just have to build a really roundabout street here. Uh, there we go. I can introduce a new law now. Uh, a fighting arena. I'm going to sign one of those in here. And then I can get people to just live close by here. Let's see, how much is that? Ooh, that's a lot of people. Uh, but I will build that later. I feel like I'll need some hunters right now. Uh, as it stands. That one person that's unemployed right now. Can I employ you anywhere else? Probably don't want you guys there. Let's see, Steel Racket here only has eight pieces of steel left. Workshop is going. I could probably actually build um, a medical post here. I can probably fit two of them here. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna build a medical post there. Uh -huh. 
There we go. My sawmill has been researched. Uh, uh oh. I'm gonna research a beacon here. I guess I'll start doing some research on that. Just because a beacon does seem quite useful. And, uh, huh. Sawmill. I can build one of these. Producing up to 80 wood in a work day. Oh, do we have more refugees? Another group arrives. In London, we toil like slaves for a piece of bread. Oh, we got more people coming in here. Some people are hungry. Let's see, do I got some engineers? Oh, I got some engineers coming in. Oh, that's good. That is good. It looks like it's going to get cold pretty soon. Uh, and if I have this as my residential district, things might not be looking too good here. Uh, fighting arena can be put right here. I can put a tent right about here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to need to have some steam hubs sooner or later. We have some hungry people to feed, some mouths to feed. Let's see. Okay, I got some engineers here. Let's put them to work. There we go. 15 people are hungry, which should be dealt with quite quickly. I'm going to get them to build a, a sawmill here. Oh my god, that's a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. Um, uh, building here will block place for an important facility. Uh, I can block that important facility for now. Uh huh. huh. See if I can. Can I build a road this way? I cannot build a road this way. Why can't I build a road this way? Is it because I run out of wood? Uh, Alright, there we go. Fighting Arena has been constructed. And uh, I have eight people who are sort of idle here. This Hunter's Hut is still taking forever to be constructed. Probably because it's far away here. There we go. I got one worker here. Uh, what else do I have? I have six engineers. Okay. I can probably spare some engineers to work in places where my workers are. Uh, let's see. Probably not there. Uh huh. And then I can max up my workers here. Get seven workers over here. There we go. Because we've got 20 people that are kind of hungry, actually. Um, there we go. And then we're going to be out of wood here. Uh, let's see. Do I have this on 24 hour shift? Oh, not 24 hour. A little bit of a longer shift here. That's 750 wood. We can probably gather most of this wood soon. I actually have a kid somewhere. I can hire that kid. Uh, hire that kid to work here. I have a bunch of workers here. I can take the workers off here and stick them on here. Actually, and that'll help out a lot. But uh, as for food, we might have to sign in the sawdust law. The sawdust has been very effective so far. Um, the times that I've used it. So let's see. Why can't I build a street here? There we go. I'll just have no one there and someone can come and build the street here. That's weird that I can't build a street here because of the steel wreckage. Um, let's see. I wonder if the hunters have come back with any food here. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a lot more people for hunters. Let's see. Uh, at least 250 people must survive. That tells me that I might get a lot of people coming in. If at least 250 people must survive, which actually is kind of scary, because I feel like I might, I don't think I'll be able to save all of them. Which is, I think, the entire point of this scenario. So beacon has been researched. Uh, I'm gonna at least research steam hubs here. I think I can probably build a beacon as well. Uh, invalid placement location. Mm -hmm. Probably don't want to have it here. Could probably have it here. 
We'll probably have it here. Uh -huh. Could totally have it there. Boom. There we go. Now we can max up these people over here. Uh, no, we cannot afford double rations for kids. Unfortunately, that is not happening. Uh, so we got some patients over here. I probably got some overcrowding at some medical facilities as well. Uh, it looks like things are getting colder soon. Wood crates depleted. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna need more hunter's huts though. Uh, otherwise, we are gonna be in trouble. We're gonna be in trouble. Uh, let's see, so this gathering poster is gathering quite nicely. I'm just thinking this day is like kind of slow. A little bit of a slow place here. There we go, that's done. So this thing's, this place is gathering coal here. We're gathering some coal, some wood, some wood. These two steam cores. We got nine kids. Where can I send the nine kids? Uh, let's see. I can uh, send some of the kids over here. Oh, the beacon is built! We got our people coming in here. Oh, we got 10 engineers. There's an abandoned camp. I wonder if I can. Ah, let's see, nine kids. Can I get the kids to work here? Mm -hmm. I can totally get the kids to work here. Okay, uh, I, can send, I can go to the beacon here and create a scout team. And for that, I will need some more workers. There we go, I got five workers over here. And I still have, I have yeah, I have one kid I can employ somewhere. Uh, I'm just gonna need that wood though. Let's see. Destroyed steam core transport has been depleted. All right, so that means we got all our steam cores. Gathering post resources depleted. Oh, let's take this place down. So we have some people coming in here, and we have more people coming in here. Two days. Let's see. Steam hub has been researched. That is good news. I want to get the drawing boards, but uh, I, I can't have that yet, it seems. Uh, coal Thumper, Steelworks, should probably get some Steelworks started here. Um, and then hopefully I can, okay, so if I can't get my people here, uh, so I got six engineers, maybe I can put more engineers, or take all my workers off here. I need to put as many workers into food gathering as possible. Because right now, this is a, we're in a bit of a sticky situation in terms of food. Uh-huh. Okay. Got three people that are sick. Cookhouse is looking okay. And kind of dicey, actually. I'm going to dismantle some streets here. Don't really need that street. Now I look at it. Don't need that street. Don't need that street. Okay. There we go. Now some more people will be coming in here. There's 10 people, so I'm gonna try and um, should probably build one, two for them. Actually, I'm gonna cancel this one. Uh, so I think I should just build them all together into one sort of steam hovering, which makes much more sense. And then I got a steam hub here, resources, food, a yeah, hunter's hut. And we got some more people coming in here. Several families have reached our city. Unfortunately, some of their children got lost near the tri trail bend. They are distraught. I can help your kids. The trail bend has been discovered. Ooh, okay. Uh, wait, incoming waves of refugees. There's three out of ten waves here. So we have gotten a few of the waves here. Some people are here. I'm going to need you guys to uh, come over here. Got mostly... Oh, I got mostly kids. I got a lot of engineers, though. Um... Let's see, mostly kids, lots of engineers. Maybe I can just take you guys off and throw the engineers into here. Get the workers over here. I'm gonna need you guys to make some food for us real quick. Uh, and then, I guess I can start building up my tech workshops here. Uh, I think I wanna have them over here, probably, but this is sort of an inefficiency. But I can probably get rid of with the infirmary, maybe? Like a space inefficiency, I don't know. Um, or maybe I can put them out here. Seems like a good idea. I can, like, just demolish this one. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll see. We'll see, but, uh, we're very short on food. And that is, a uh, that is gonna cause us to have to sign in some uh, sawdust. 
I got the sawdust meals over here. People are going to be a little angry about that, but you know what? We need food. And... Well, let's go. There we go. We can assign some engineers to work here. There we go. And that'll make it so that we have our research potential is going to go up. Uh -huh. And I can build a steam hub here, actually. Probably want to build it back here, to be quite honest. Uh, we'll actually probably build it back here. I don't know. We'll see. Because a steam hub, like, right over here is probably the best place uh, for us. Yeah, this steel wreckage here is going to get cleaned up really quickly, as soon as work starts. Uh-huh. There we go. So the resources here are gone. I'm going to take this place apart. Resources here, resources here. Basically just these buildings. Uh -huh. Coal pile here, though, looks like it's kind of juicy, so we should probably get working on that one. Um, let's see. All right, engineers, start cutting me some wood. I'm going to need some wood here. I'm also going to need lots of food um, as it stands. So now, one of the things is we are we we are on the brink of starving to death, I think. Um, and so one of the things we can s try and do is uh, try and rescue our food situation here, as it stands. Let's see. I have ten workers. Um, bunch of engineers. I can probably send some of these guys out to Frostland now. There we go. And you know what? There we go. Steelworks has been researched. I'm gonna build a scout team. Uh, let's see, I can send them over to the trail bend. Uh, I'm gonna send them over here. So I can rescue the kids at trail bend here. And now I can also build a steelworks. But I am currently low on the wood. Alright, so I think I should probably just get people harvesting wood on sawmills here. Uh, so does it look like I can sawmill over here quite nicely? Not adjacent to street. Uh, anything else I can saw here? Nope. Anything I can saw here? I can saw all of this. I can saw all the way up there. Damn, that's a lot of wood. Okay. Well, I can. I'm just gonna sawmill here. Uh, the only thing is, like, placing the stuff here is kind of inconvenient. But it's kind of cold here, so I don't know what to do. Stick five workers over here. Actually, maybe none here. And stick five workers over here. Uh, let's see, who would I have working? I have, I have ten kids, five engineers. I'm just, I just don't have a lot of workers. Let's see. I mean, I got 15 workers coming in soon, so that should fix things up a little bit. Uh, but if anything, I should also probably build a gathering post here. So I need to start gathering this area uh, for resources. Uh, coal thumper. I basically resource researched everything I can. I'm gonna get heaters, I guess. And then I'm gonna try and go for drawing boards. I know, I know I'm know, i a little delayed on the tech here, but yeah. Uh, wood crates have been depleted. Okay, I have enough wood here for drawing boards now. Uh, destroyed steam cores. Wood crates are being depleted here. So this place is gonna be taken down pretty soon. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put all my the rest of my workshops on this side. So I do want to have a bunch of workshops, like a good number of workshops here. There we go, got some more food coming in. There we go, heaters have been researched. I'm going to research drawing boards. Let's go, boys. We got more workers coming in. It's going to be pretty good here. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to get children here, max. We got 1k coal here. About three days worth of coal here. I think I have a coal pile here, don't I? No, that's a coal deposit. Okay, so that's a coal mine I can build on. Um, it looks like we have some people coming in in 23 hours. And that's an iron ore deposit. Man, that's a big one. Uh, let's see. Just sort of extend the road here. There we go. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build some tents here. I mean, as it stands, I think. The tents here are warm enough. I mean, they're chilly. Um, but yeah, I got the heaters researched here. I got some... Do I have any engineers just sort of chilling around? I do have some engineers that are chilling around here. So I can probably build a another workshop 
like right here. I would like that. I would also like that. Probably wouldn't like that. Probably could have one here as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, we're functioning at decent capacity here. All right, so you know what? I think now is probably a good time to end off our first episode. We're five days in. Uh, and so yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the refugee so far, be sure to leave a like and tune in next Tuesday for more refugees. Uh, that is Frostpunk Refugees. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.